Hey guys, it's come to my attention that I actually made an error in our realistic materials for our landscapes back in a previous tutorial. Um, I told you guys I wasn't a material guy. I'm just going to go through and make a couple of changes right quick. If you go into your materials folder and under your, your main landscape material, I'm going to go up here and this, this node that's going in metallic, I'm just going to break the node. We can just delete that. This node I'm going to bring down, which is the one that's going into specular. I'm going to bring it down and go into ambient occlusion. And then I'm going to right click here and select break this link. Then I'm going to hold down one on my keyboard. I'm just going to leave this and or change this to 0 0.1 and then plug it into my metallic and my specular. Pull that out here so you can get an idea of what kind of changes this makes and then when I save it it's going to apply the landscape material and you can see it changes it quite a bit gives the color a lot more a lot more deeper color anyway so a uh, guy's name was Brandon Evans that actually uh, commented on the realistic land landscapes video to let me know that I had set that up wrong. So not a big deal, but everything that makes something look nicer, I guess is a plus. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry about the trouble. I'll see you guys next time.